Moving on from circles, we're going to cover the rules for quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is any four-sided figure. It includes squares, rectangles, and parallelograms. On test day, you're going to need to calculate two things, the perimeter and the area. The perimeter of a quadrilateral is merely the sum of all four sides. The area is going to be calculated by multiplying the base times the height. Just like triangles, when you're calculating the area of a quadrilateral, the base and height must be perpendicular. Now let's take a look at an example. In a rectangle, opposite sides are going to be parallel and the same length. Knowing this, let's answer some questions. The first question says, if L is equal to 9 and W is equal to 12, what is the perimeter? Since we know that opposite sides are going to be equal in length, all we need to do is add up all four sides. So our equation will read 9 plus 9 plus 12 plus 12, which equals 42. The second question tells us that L is equal to 6 and W is equal to 6, and asks us to calculate the area. We can tell from the diagram that L and W form a 90 degree angle, so that's going to be our base and our height. All we need to do to calculate the area is multiply 6 times 6, which equals 36. Now that we've gone through one example, I'm going to give you a chance to go through a few exercises on your own. Look at the following problems and use the two formulas that we just learned. When you're finished, you can check your answers and we'll go through a few examples together. Okay, now that you're finished, go ahead and check your answers. Now that you've looked at the answers, let's go through a few examples together, starting with number one. The diagram gives us a quadrilateral, and we see the angles marked 110, Z, 
110, and 50. The question asks us to figure out what the angle Z is equal to. Now we learned before that interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. A quadrilateral is basically just two triangles smooshed together. We could draw a line from any two vertices of the quadrilateral to divide this shape into two triangles. So what that means is that the interior angles are going to add up to 360 degrees. Now we can write a formula and solve for z. 110 plus 110 plus 50 plus z equals 360. Combine your like terms to give us the equation 360 equals 270 plus z. Final step is to isolate z by subtracting 270 from both sides, which gives you a value of z equals 90 degrees. Let's move on to example 6. We're given a diagram of rectangle WXYZ. WZ, which is the height of the rectangle, is 3, and XZ, which is the diagonal, is 5. The question asks us to solve the area. In order to solve the area, we need base and height. We have a height, we need to solve for the base. The base is going to be WX, the line that is perpendicular to the height WZ. Now remember that rectangles contain four 90 degree angles. When we draw a diagonal from X to Z, we create two right triangles. Now, if you take a look at triangle WXZ, you should see a Pythagorean triplet. We see side lengths of 3 and 5, which tells us that WX must be equal to 4. Now that we know that, we can multiply our base times our height, 4 times 3, to give us an area of 12. Now take a look at example 7. In this diagram, we're given a square, STUV with a marked diagonal of 4 times the square root of 2. The question asks us to solve for ST. Remember that in a square, we have four 90 degree angles, and all of our side lengths are going to be equal. When we draw a diagonal from vertex T to vertex V, we're dividing our square into two right triangles. Not only are they right triangles, but they're special right triangles. Because we're evenly dividing the 90 degree angle in half, we create two 45-45-90 triangles. Knowing that, we can solve for one of our side lengths. The side opposite of the 90 degrees is 4 times the square root of 2, which tells us that x is equal to 4. Line ST, therefore, is going to be equal to 4. Now let's take a look at a test question that looks at quadrilaterals. Number 9 says, if the length of rectangle A is one-half the length of rectangle B, and the width of rectangle A is one-half the width of rectangle B, what is the ratio of the area of rectangle A to the area of rectangle B? The first step is to draw a diagram. Let's draw rectangle A and rectangle B. Now, let's label the sides. Since we know that the length of rectangle A is one half of the length of rectangle B, let's call the length of rectangle A L, which would make the length of rectangle B 2L. Similarly, let's call the width of rectangle A W and the width of rectangle B 2W. Now that we have our sides labeled, let's calculate the area of each rectangle. The area of rectangle A is going to be L times W. The area of rectangle B will be 2L times 2W, or 4LW. The question is asking us for the ratio of area of rectangle A to the area of rectangle B. So let's rewrite what we calculated for the areas in ratio format. The first area is LW. The second area is 4LW, so our ratio will read LW over 4LW. Our unknown values will cancel out, leaving us with a ratio of 1 to 4, which matches up with answer choice A.